from. Philanthropy is already alive and well in the streets of Fort McMurray as many are giving what they can to others who need help the most. Adults usually have an easier time fending for themselves and kids, so it's the children who are receiving the love from many people in the community. It all started with one little boy with one little bike from Brooks, Alberta, who wanted to help. My son said, Mom, can you take this bike to Fort McMurray? And I don't want anything for it, but just bring it. So I brought it and he was, you know, concerned that the schools were closed. There was no parks, the houses were burned, the kids' bikes were gone, their friends were displaced, and he just wanted to get a kid out on a bike. It's hard to describe the feeling of a kid on a bike, and even though I'm old and I got a bad memory, I remember what it was like, the freedom that you felt when you got on a bike and you're out riding around with your friends. And when Debbie decided she wanted to do this, I said, all right, do it, I'll fix bikes, I'll do whatever it takes to help make this happen. Fort McMurray has always been known to be one of the most giving communities in all of Canada. And despite the tragedy, the motto continues. Law enforcement officials have also stepped up and even stopped what they're doing to also lend a hand. <laughs> Kids are already coming in, they're grabbing their bike, and it's absolutely awesome to see. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much. You're very welcome. Can you say thank you? Everybody's pleasure. Some youngsters may not realize the severity of the damage until they're older. So keeping them entertained, active and happy is a small step in the recovery process. For Debbie Perini and Lloyd Renton, they know the region of Wood Buffalo is a happy place to live and they want to pay it forward because their own flesh and blood would do the same. Our son, he was saving other people's homes while his burnt to the ground. And he's not the only one. There's lots and lots that has that story. Uh, I can't imagine the grief that those people are going through. So if we can help in some small way for to, uh, to help relieve that grief and stress, yes, only too happy to do it, you betcha. You just have to give back. Whatever you can do, if there's something you can do, you just do it. It's just what you do. It's the right thing to do. Watching the community roll back one wheel at a time, I'm Doug Roxburgh, and together we're... Fort McMurray strong. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.